Hi, I'm Jim Walsh. I am the owner of two title boxing clubs, one in downtown Philadelphia and the second club in Metuchen, New Jersey. And how long have you been using Impact Rap? Uh, since both clubs opened uh, as a former chief technology officer in the business world before I moved to title boxing club, it was very important to have technology. So I opened both clubs uh, on the first class with Impact Rap. So over two years in New Jersey and just about one year here in Philadelphia. Could you tell me a little bit about how the classes have evolved using Impact Rap? Yeah, like any business, you want to keep your business fresh and new. Uh, as an observer of fitness, what I wanted to avoid was taking the title structure, what we love, warm up, rounds, and core, and changing it entirely. Go look at social media and you start seeing the other clubs flipping tires. They're out doing an exercise in a parking lot. They're having the big uh, exercise ropes. From a business owner, the biggest thing I need to do is avoid liability and change who we are. A class in a parking lot is a huge liability, no longer covered under insurance. I love the structure, but need newness. Think of the apparel industry. Every year they come out with new shirts, still small, medium, large, extra large. The shirt's the same, but there's newness and freshness, new colors, new patterns. That's the same I do with Impact Wrap. I'm able to tweak timing, rounds, exercises to incorporate it with it. The old title system had a very manual system, push a button to start class. Here, class starts 100% on time every day. It's automated. I now take people who are at a front desk waiting for 7 a.m. to push a button. They're out engaging with our members. They're wrapping hands. We're now a little bit more efficient using Impact Wrap. Then I take, through observations, changes to keep it fresh. I took my warm up from 15 minutes down to seven minutes. Title Boxing Club has a 45 minute class, so they believe in a seven minute warm up is, is good for that class. I took that concept, take that good seven minute warm up, but apply it to a one hour class because I still love at the end 15 minutes of core. Same structure, warm up, boxing, core, but keeping it fresh and new. What else was I able to do to keep it fresh and new? I'm able to tweak the rounds. I went from eight rounds to 10 rounds in a standard class. I took active rest, which had about 50% engagement from our members, meaning half the members would do the exercise, half the members wouldn't do the exercise. But by taking the active rest down to 35 seconds, gave them enough to catch their breath, hear the next combination of the next round, and I got 100% engagement on the bags. Still one hour workout, and through measurable means, calorie counting, Fitbits, Apple Watches, we saw 15% increase in their activity. That tells me that I went from 50% engagement to 100% engagement. Doesn't take a brain scientist there to tell me that I did something that was beneficial through the workout. All right, could you tell me a little bit about how the members are engaging with the data? So members have two options. A member could come in here, work out on this bag, and just see their score on the scoreboard. They know their high score, and that's what they want. Other members, much more data intense, the Fitbit world, the Apple Watch world. The best thing about Impact Rap is, I don't need to have another heart rate system. I don't need to have a calorie system. I have something that's measuring boxing, the impact. Each punch is measured. So at the end of each workout, they're emailed their workout. They can log into the app. They can see their score. We're able to calculate hand speed. In a one hour workout, I hit the bag 1,500 times when I first started. Two months later, I'm hitting it 3,000. My hand speed has doubled. This is what we're hearing from our members. They're the ones who are coming back with the analytics for us. They know their average force. They know how they're impacting. What does that do? It takes my team and puts the focus on a boxing workout. We spend our time teaching a good, fun, engaging class with proper form. That cuts down any chance of injuries that a member may have. I am more focused on a good workout that keeps my members coming back. 
especially in boxing, which very well could be prone to injuries. We're avoiding it, we're mitigating risk by having people measure. How do I measure? Better form, better technique, get you a better score. So could you tell me a little bit about your return on the investment with Impact Wrap? Sure. When I first put Impact Wrap in, I wasn't so much worried about a return on that investment. I treated technology as a need, a must have in business. It wasn't a, a, a nice to have, it was a need to have. You have to have it in it. But what turns out is that I am getting positive ROI on it. People are engaged with class. People are taking pictures with it. What do they do? Posting their high score on the leaderboard. What well, that's marketing. So I'm getting a positive ROI on it. Far better am I getting that someone promotes that they got their best workout today, measurable best workout today, via social media than me boosting an ad. Better than buying a t-shirt. The impact wrap feedback from our members they're explaining the workout. How did you get to it? I saw you at work on those things. So from a marketing perspective, I'm making my money back by having to reduce the massive amount of spends or the begging of a member to please post something. They're doing it on our behalf. And how about, are you, are you is this helping sell more PT? We sell memberships, we sell PT with it. People want to get better. How can I get a higher score? Well, that goes back to the previous question. Form and technique. How do I prevent injuries? How do I make myself better? Form and technique. Members now want to come in and get better. So now they're taking private lessons more for this. They're asking us questions. They're coming in 15 minutes early before class to take advantage of our technique portion of it versus coming in late because the warm-up was so long and so predictable and always the same exercises. All right, can you tell me some of the types of workouts that you've been able to uh, implement? We've had a lot of fun. We do special classes in addition to the structured workouts that we're able to do. Every Tuesday, we call it Tabata Tuesday. Still one hour workout, still the same boxing rounds but we've broken the last round into 20 second intervals. 20 seconds on the bag, 10 second active rest. The members hear the bell. They know they gotta go from bell to bell. No longer do I have to use the trainer just yelling out the word stop. From bell to bell, they're able to go. Tabata Tuesday. We have 12 round classes. We have a marathon boxing class. What's a marathon boxing class? A marathon is 26.2 miles. A marathon boxing class. 26 two minute rounds. Amateur fights, two minute rounds. Still keeping it in with the title structure. I'm not flipping tires. I'm not running around the parking lot. I'm boxing here. Uh, it's October coming up. We're in the city of Philadelphia. Rocky Tober. We are going to mirror the same Rocky one fight. What was it? 15 rounds, 17 rounds. I'm able to adjust my workouts, still within the title structure, but keeping it fresh and new.